What you're looking at here is my sales and profits report and I also have the inventory report open and what I want to do is I want to be able to insert the inventory report into the sales and profit report. So when you insert one report into another it's known as a sub report. And why would you want to do that? Well instead of going into the report separately and printing them off independently by inserting it as well one into another you can just go ahead and print the one report and it prints off well everything inside that including the sub report. So to go ahead and insert the inventory at the end of the sales and profit, let's go ahead and right click in a blank area, go to the design view. And let's close out of the property sheet here and scroll down. So at the end of the report, the report footer, so when the report's done, what do we want at the end of it? Well, we want to go ahead and insert that other report, the inventory as a sub report. To do that, come up here on the design tab, go to the controls group, click on controls, and it's right there. Subform sub report. Now it acts for both, so if we were in a form, we could insert a subform, but since we're not doing that, it's going to switch over to a sub report. Let's go ahead and click on it, and then come down below and find a space and click. Opens up a wizard, it's going to ask us a bunch of questions based upon our answers. We're going to insert the inventory into this report here, the sales and profit. So, what data would you like to use for your subform or sub report? Remember, it's not a subform, it's a sub report. You can use existing tables and queries or use an existing report or form. Well, if we use an existing report or form, well, it's the only thing that's pulling anyway, so it's still there when we select it. And it's going to be our inventory. Go ahead and select that, click Next. And then, would you like to define which fields link your main form to this sub? Well, you see, that's the problem. Form. We're not dealing with forms, we're dealing with reports, so there's nothing to link. So you can go ahead and scroll down, say None. And click next and then well I'll leave the name as is and click finish and there we go. Let's go ahead and right click on it and go to the print preview and take a gander. Click on it to zoom out. There's my sales and profit report. Let's go see at the end of it. Okay it's not there. Page two, page three, it's not there. Page four, page five. Well, let's go all the way to the end and okay wow. Looks like we got a lot of pagination issues going on so it's not squeezing all like the inventory, it gets cut off here, so we need to clean up our report here. Let's right click in a blank area, go to well, the design view. And why is that? Because, let's scroll over, well that's huge. This report has gone all the way over to the right and extended this report way beyond its bounds and so that's why we're getting extra pages as it were. So let's go ahead and we can clean this up if we just go ahead and take care of this guy. So let me go ahead and hover over the right hand side of the grid until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. Click and drag that out so I can see the right middle resizing handle for the sub report. Click and drag that in. Click and scroll over and in fact let's go ahead and click and drag this over about yay so and then I think maybe that's a little bit too small. Uh, let's go ahead and try that, okay? Well, before we do that, when we pull this in, we want to make sure we pull the grid in so it doesn't have all that extra space and so the data gets knocked around and not all on one page. So let's go ahead and right click, go to the print preview, and there's page one, page two. Oh, it's looking clean so far. Let's go to the end of the report to find, hey, inventory. Click on it to zoom in. Well, let's scroll up. And there we go. Uh, there's a problem. I know that's the part number, but I don't remember what these fields are, so where are the labels? All right, let's go ahead and right click and go to the design view and figure this out and scroll down. And let me go ahead and scroll down in the sub report, and there it is right there, the labels. Why aren't they showing? Because it's going to be at the top of the page header. Well, since this is a sub report, it's not seeing that as heading each page. It's what is seeing up here. So if we want to be able to see this, there's a workaround, and that's by selecting, holding down the shift key and clicking on each one. Gosh, when I scroll up I lose sight of that. Let's go ahead and click on the border and then hover over the bottom middle resizing handle and scroll down. There we go, now I can see more. So hold down the shift key and click on each one of those. And let's drag them up here. Okay, let's go ahead and move the page header section bar down so we can drag it below there and use the down arrow key. Well, I don't want this empty space between the header and the details of the record, so let's go ahead and well, we don't want to do that. We want to actually drag the detail header up so it's snug right against the page header so there's no breathing space between well what we have up here by a page header section and the details of the records down below. 
So let's go ahead and see if that works for us. Right click, go to the print preview, and we want to go to the end. And hey, there we go. We get our labels. Now I can tell, oh, there we go. That's in stock and on order. Okay, cool. Now remember that what you do in one, when we talked about forms, that when you edit a subform into a form, it actually edits the form itself. It's the same thing here. When you edit a sub report, when we inserted the inventory in here and we moved the labels around, it actually updated the main report, the inventory report. So let's go ahead and I'll close out of here and we'll say yes and save it all. So when I go ahead and, well, when you double click on the inventory report, you, know, you can't see it here, but when you right click and go to the design view, remember these used to be in the page header section, but since we made changes in the sub report, it updated the main report here. And so what you do in one updates the other. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.